Good morning, you guys. It is a Sunday morning, and while my family is finishing getting ready for church, there's Dax. Hi, bud. Hi. I am finishing my last minute touches getting ready for a trip because my car comes to pick me up in the next little bit so I need to finish getting ready. Obviously I travel quite a bit and so it becomes very important to be able to do things as quickly as humanly possible. So I know like with my travel bag, my carry on, I use a lot of the same stuff I use in my daily life and so I need to be able to make those transitions quickly and I need to know where things are so they don't get lost. So I'm going to show you today what I put in my carry on, how I do it and all my tips and tricks. Hey Sean, yeah. do you want to pack my bag for me? Sure. What do you always put in your carry-ons? Like what's one thing you always put in? I always put in my jacket, uh, Tylenol, <laughs> that's all I need. <laughs> that's a jacket and Tylenol yeah. and he never uses his jacket, hardly ever. I don't think I would want him packing my bag, I would be hungry all the time. What do you always put in your travel bags? Like your carry-on, what's something you always carry? Charger. Phone charger. What kind of food do you carry in your bag? It's like snacks that won't melt on the plane. <laughs> Me too. Okay, so one of my number one tips is always keep your travel bag where you know where it's at so you don't have to go searching. If everybody has a spot in the house, I'm sidetracking for a second, that's like the dump location. So this is our dump. So we have like where are we throw our glasses and keys. Like it's just this is where my purse always lands, my computer bag and anything paperwork y I have to deal with. So this is like my kind of like spot that just doesn't always look pretty. This cupboard right here contains my travel bag, which I know seems like a really random spot. I, I know, it's see how pretty that is? What a mess. It's very convenient, I always know where it is, and it's right next to my other purse, which becomes very important for quick switching. Tip number two is try to keep as much stuff in the bag as humanly possible. So things that don't need to be switched in and out, like obviously your driver's license has to go back and forth between wherever you actually need it. But things that don't need to be switched, don't switch. So I have in my backpack at all times a whole series of things that I know are just always there so that I don't have to think about them every single time. So I have this really cute Cotopaxi backpack. It's leather on the bottom, so it wears very well. It's highly stitched, it's made for traveling. So every time we travel, this isn't all of the places I've been, but these are the ones I've gathered. I try to get a patch from where we go. And this is like maybe the only thing I ever bring home for my traveling. Eventually I wanna have it like all over the bag, like hundreds of them is my goal. Because each of these contain a lot of memories for me and happiness with my family, with Sean, and just different adventures that we've been on. And I actually have a Bali patch from my last trip that I haven't added yet. I only do international patches, except for, of course, my Texas Pride, right there in the center. And the only other one you'll notice that is not country related, and this is just Mindy related, is my Coca-Cola patch. Let's go over what I keep in my bag like all the time. So if you open my top pocket, I have this black bag and it's just this meshy little net and I'll explain this one in a minute. I always carry a charging pack. So this is the Mophie one. Um, it comes with the double clips and actually normally I have, this is funny, I have this one in my bag but Sean carries one that actually has like a cord that wraps into the actual brick so that you don't even have to have a cord. And inside here there's always wipes. So that's like the top pocket. If I come into this little tiny top pocket right here, I have my like female supplies. I have some business cards. There's a few bobby pins buried in there too. Oh, some more pens, including one of my favorites. This one even has a hair elastic on it. See how prepared I am? In there as well, I have this green baggie. So inside here, I have my Bose headphones. Now, if you guys are like me, when you travel, you notice that like planes require headphones that still have a jack that plug in. The Bose earphones, first of all, these are noise canceling. So if you're on the plane and a baby's screaming behind you, you turn these on, you can't hear the baby anymore. All you hear is what's in your earphones. Then I carry one of these with me. If you guys haven't seen these, you can just get them at Apple or on the internet. But it's just basically a converter from old school to new iPhone. In here, I also always carry a splitter. And I label them, see my name on there? That's another trick, label everything. So that it doesn't get mixed up or lost and your kids don't think it's theirs. So like if Sean and I wanted to watch a movie together while we're sitting on the plane, we can just both plug our headphones into this, this plug into my phone, and bam, we're both listening on our headphones to the same movie. I always carry a dongle, which is by the way, the weirdest word I've ever heard 
it basically plugs into my computer and then I can plug in like a camera, like a camera cord or if I need to download photos or off something, it plugs into there. So I always have all of that and it never leaves it, it never goes anywhere, it's always in my bag. Also in the same green case, this one switches in and out for me because I use my Air, my AirPods all the time, but I have this little AirPod. These are the new cases Brooklyn and Bailey are carrying. They're sold out right now, but we're bringing them back. It's just my AirPods. So I prefer using these if I'm just sitting in the airport so I don't have to plug anything in. And then that goes in this top pocket of my bag and it never leaves it, so I always know where it is and I always have it. Inside, number one, I carry these clear carrying cases, which that's another tip and trick. Put everything that you can into clear carrying cases because they're easy to see. And I just got these off Amazon. This one has a handle. So in here, I carry wet wipes. Here's another version of wet wipes. These are like antibacterials. I carry a bunch of these. These are flushables, again, just in case you have TP issues. And then I have some even bug spray water or like repellent. Also for me, like these antibacterial wipes are like super critical because I strongly dislike germs on planes. I disinfect pretty much everything when I get on the plane using my wipe. So also in my big pocket, I have food. You can see I have some healthy granola bars, some not so healthy granola bars, trail mix, beef jerky, I have apple, dried dehydrated apples, I have fruit leather. Down in the bottom there's applesauce packets, but I just kind of try to do Things that would either A, give me some sugar because I'm super tired and need a little lift, or B, give me like um, some protein, like the trail mix or whatever that has some nuts in it, um, but also just, yeah, I won't get rotten. And this is literally the container my kids love. Okay, next in this black baggie, what I always carry in here is a little plug like this. If you're traveling and you need a charge and everybody else is using all of the electrical outlets, you can go in and switch this and you can still plug them in and then you can use it to plug yourself in. So this just makes one plug, basically two. Here's where I put my personal phone charger and I have the 10 foot charging cord, so it's crazy long, which I love, because then when you get to a hotel and you have like the nightstand or the plug is like super far away from your bed, and these are all of my cords in one spot. And then what I do is in the big pocket, in this backpack, this Cotopaxi backpack has a laptop sleeve. I don't know if you can see that. So I take my laptop, I slide it right in, I take my cords, I tuck them at the bottom because they're the thing that I'm least likely to need, and then I tuck the food and the wipes at the top, just like that, so that I know where everything is all the time and I can get to it easy on the plane. One other quick thing I know people are gonna ask me is how my cords don't get all bent up when I put them in and out of the bags and stuff. I use these little, have you guys ever seen these little animal things that you can slide on and off? So they're just these little plastic things, but they sit on the ends of your cords like this and they just keep them from bending too tight so that your cords don't get all bent. Okay, so inside my purse, you will always see this on a day-to-day -day basis. I carry this with me everywhere I go in my purse. So inside here I have Tylenol and then I also have um, ibuprofen. I prefer ibuprofen, but Paisley is highly allergic to it, so I have to carry Tylenol too. I have lip liner, I have lipstick, I have some perfume roll-ons, so um, I have chapstick, I have hand sanitizer, I have tissues, I have lotion, I have a couple hair clips, I have some hair elastics, I have a few bobby pins, so this goes literally from this bag into the top pocket of my backpack. And I take my keys. Dun, 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 dun. See how cute this is, you guys. This is the pink one. But we have four coming. Thank you, Brooklyn and Bailey Shop. And I tuck those at the very bottom as well. And then literally all I have to do is open my wallet. This is my everyday wallet. And I have a travel wallet. I roll over my credit card. I roll over my license. And that's about it, because when I'm traveling, I don't want to take a ton of stuff or a ton of credit cards in case I lose my wallet. So I will switch over like those two or three things. You can see I have my license, my two cool cards, and some cash. And it goes right in the top. I zip everything shut. And this bag is ready to totally go. This is like literally everything I do every single time and I honestly, you guys, cannot think of one time when I didn't have something I needed. This pretty much accounts for 98% of situations that I might bump into, whether I'm traveling domestically 
or internationally and that's kind of the point of my travel bag. So, but that's the goal. The goal is for it to be like, I maybe take 10 minutes if I'm moving really fast and seven to grab everything I need, fill my bag, switch it over and I can be out the door. So it's a, like a highly efficient, highly effective way to travel, which is exactly what I was looking for. So Sana and I are at the airport. <laughs> Getting ready to jump on the flight to go to New York. The last couple of things I always do for my carry-on is I take a pillow with me. So I just take my travel pillow and snap it on the top of my bag. And then I take usually a hydro flask. But today I forgot, can you guys believe that? Because I was filming this video, I got distracted, totally forgot it. So I had to just do a regular water bottle. But normally I bring my hydro flask and stick it on a side pocket of my bag. And then, fun fact, you can freeze your hydro flask ahead of time, the water in it, and TSA will let you through if it's frozen with it. So then you can, like I like to freeze it like halfway full, then you put the water on top and then it just stays really cold and nice the whole time you're on the flight. You have fresh, yummy water. Hope you guys loved these tips and tricks on how to travel, how to switch your bags, what to carry in your carry-on, and everything else. Mom approved. Obviously, I'm past the babies, and so I don't have bottles and binkies and all that stuff, but this is what I do. I hope it helps you guys think about some things. I'll put all the links in the description box below for everything in my bag that like I got off Amazon, all those little clear baggies and everything. And if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, be sure to do it by clicking the button right here. If you want to see all of our other videos, our family vlogs and hairstyle videos, Click the button over here and we will see you guys later. Bye guys!